Hello friends, welcome back to session 23 of uh, IBM Webster Administration. In this session, we will learn how we can apply the fixed specs in the WebSphere. Okay, so when you log into the console of your WebSphere, okay, on the first welcome screen, you can see the version. Okay, and here you can see the current date is visible as 9.0.5.16. So here 9.0.5 is a major version and the fixed specs are come uh, with a digit which is showing in the last which is 16 okay so this could be uh, 16 17 18 19 20 depend on the fixed specs that has been released by the ibm okay so there are different ways to apply the fixed specs and to download as well okay so the basic process is that the url that you are seeing on the screen you have to go to that particular uh, url of the ibm website Okay, and there you can see the different kind of versions of WebSphere application server and for which you are going to apply the fixed specs, you have to click on that. Okay, and then you will be redirect on the next screen where you will see all the fixed specs that is available. Okay, so as of now you can see on the screen it is 9.0.5.20 which is showing as the latest. Okay, which was released in 18 June 2024. And prior to that, you have 9.0.5.19, then .18, .17, .16. Right now, you can see that how the fixed specs has been incremented. Okay, the last digit of the version. Okay, show the fixed spec. Right. So, whatever the fixed spec that you would like to download, you have to click on that one. Okay, so once you will click on that one, then you will see you'll end up on the next one, which will show you the uh, different kind of uh, packages, okay, and the prerequisites that is required for installation of the fixed pack. And along with that, the problems or the bugs that have been fixed in that particular fixed pack. Okay, there is separate uh, numbers for each and every bug that has been fixed in this particular fixed pack. Right. And then you can click on the zip file, okay, for the fixed pack, whatever you wanted to download. And then you will end up on the final screen, okay? And after this screen, you should have a valid IBM ID or a, you can say a valid IBM agreement, licensing agreement, okay? And based on that, you can able to download the fix pack, right? Now, uh, once the fix pack has been downloaded, okay? Then you have a uh, different ways to apply the fix pack. You can apply it using the command line as well as you can directly install with the graphical user interface of the installation manager right as we have seen in the previous sessions as well when where we have done the installation of WebSphere using the uh, command line okay using the tool that comes with the installation manager okay and we have seen the installation using the graphical wizard as well so similar way you have two options to apply the fix pack either you can use a command line if you do not have access to the graphical user interface or if you have the access of graphical user interface and that is feasible for you then you can apply using the graphical user interface as well right so uh, before that, let me uh, show you the navigations of these URLs. Okay, so this is the, this is the URL that I have shown to you. So let me access this particular URL. Okay, so this is the IBM URL which uh, will land up on the fix pack details. So here you can see there the content. Okay, for example, if you would like to download the fix pack for 9.0, click on the 9.0. Okay, and then you will end up on the next screen, which will be similar to this one. Okay, this will list up all the fixed specs that is available for 9.0 IBM WebSphere version. Okay, so let us see what is the latest spec as of now. Okay, so now you can see that the last, the latest uh, fixed spec is 9.0.5.21, which is released on 10th of September 2024. Right, so click on this particular okay and then you can see that there are the, the, the different kind of a components related component and then you have you will see option download fix pack dot 21 click on this download option okay and the next page will be get opened okay, which will be similar to this one which will give you detailed information about this particular fix pack right so you can see the information of this particular fix pack here I scroll down Okay, and here you can see that zip file, right? Click on this zip file. Now it is going to show you all the bugs that have been fixed in this particular fix pack, right? And along with that, few more information which we are seeing here, right? So let me go here. 
Okay. So now here you can see that this is the fixed pack. Okay. And the different platform that is showing it is a dot 21. Click on continue. Okay, now you can see that the fixed central application is ordering. So now here you can see that valid email. That means some selected fixes encountered error for this order. No applicable IBM support agreement found. Okay, so because I have logged in with my uh, Digitalk user and which doesn't have a valid agreement with the IBM, that's why I'm getting this problem, this uh, uh, this error, right? But if you have a valid agreement ID then you can download the fixed patch with the help of this method, right? So now let me continue. So uh, in this session, I am going to show you how you can apply the fixed pack on 8.5, which is already downloaded in my system. Okay, so I will uh, apply the fixed pack on 8.5.5. And after that, applying the fixed pack, the, the, the latest version will be 8.5.10. Okay, so I'm applying the fixed pack of dot one ho. So the plan is simple. You should have a, a 8.5.5 installation in your system, right? And after that, you can apply the fix pack, okay? And to apply the fix pack, what you have to do, you have to, if you have a multiple zip files for the particular fix pack, you have to extract all the files inside a single folder, okay? So make sure to extract all the files inside a single folder. So let me show you. So these are the fix pack file for 8.5.5 for dot 10, fix pack 10, right? And I have two zip files. So you have to extract both zip file inside a single folder. So I have unzipped that inside the, this folder, FP folder. So let me show the content of coin. So this part two is contain a folder native and there are multiple files inside the native, right? So this is the native folder in zip file two. And then in part one, we have multiple other files. So when I have unzipped that inside a single folder, so you can see there, this is a folder native, which is I have unzipped from the zip file two. And apart from that, other files are from the zip file one. So that means I have extracted all the files inside a single folder, this FP folder. Okay. So these are the prerequisites for applying the fix pack. Okay. So now this is the first process that which you can, you can use to apply the fix pack with the help of command line option. Okay, and for that we are going to use the IMCL tool, which is come with the installation manager. Okay, and for that you have to go inside the installation manager folder and then inside the tools. And then the first command that you are seeing on the screen is the list package. If you would like to list the package, what is the current package, then you can run the command. And we, this we have seen in the installation sessions as well. Right, what is the syntax of that one? Okay, so the syntax is simple, IMCL, which is the command, then list available packages hyphen repositories and here you have, to, you have to give the complete repository okay that means where you have downloaded the software in your local system or this could be an online repository okay and when we go for the installation okay you can specify the uh, hyphen installation directory for the location where you want, want to install uh, the particular web sphere right and then you can uh, use the show progress option as well with the hyphen accept license Okay, and then you, can, then you can record the installation information in XML file by giving the hyphen record, right? And with that command, we have to give the hyphen repositories. And in that repositories, we have to give the complete location of repository.config file, which is the main config file of the software which has been downloaded in your system, right? And this will install your web sphere, right? So this we have seen in the installation sessions as well, right? Completely in detail. So after installation, you can check the current version with the help of version info.bat file, which is inside the bin folder of the installation. And this will show you the current version of your web sphere, right? So once this is done, you have to apply the fix pack. Now, what is the option to apply the fix pack? It's almost same. The first, if you would like to list the available package, okay? For that, you can again run the command IMCL list available package. In hyphen repository, you have to give the repository.config file of the fix pack location. Right now, you can see the path is D software web sphere FP and then repository.config. So FP is the location which I have shown to you, right, where I have extracted the fix pack. Let me show you again. So this is the location where I have extracted the fix pack, right? And here I have a file called repository.config. So this repository.config I have to give here in the repository. So now this will list the packages which is completely inside this particular fix pack. 
right now once it is done you can apply the fix spec and the, the command is saying imcl install and then this is the package name that you are going to install hyphen repository is the complete location of your fix spec directory where you have a repository.config file and then you can give the installation directory and this installation directory is the installation location of your 8.5.5 web sphere all right which we have installed here right so this is the installation location we are, we are giving because we want this web sphere to be upgraded to 8.5.10 okay and this is the repository which we have given here right so once you will run this command it will take some time and then it will update your uh, current web sphere with the dot 10 fix pack and once this is upgraded successfully you can run again run the version info dot write back command and then you will see it is now 8.5.5.10 right that means the point or dot 10 fix pack has been applied so this is the first way how we can apply with the help of command line and second you, if you would like to use the installation manager then process is very straight forward open your installation manager then inside the file go to preferences inside preferences you can add your repository and once you are adding the repository what exactly we need to add in repository is the location of repository.config file which is inside your fix spec folder which we have extracted okay so once this repository has been added then click on update it will scan your system and it will list all of the web sphere that has been installed in your system okay select the the web sphere which you would like to upgrade to the dot 10 fix pack okay so this is in my case okay and now you can see the current version right at that bottom this is the current is 8.5.5.0 right so we would like to upgrade this one right so next screen in the update package it will show you the 8.5.5.10 or whatever the fix patch that you have added in the repository in the first screen right here we have added the fix spec repository so based on this repository it will display you the current fix spec version here okay you have to select this one and then click on accept licensing agreement review the information what all are the component that are going to be upgraded okay with the fix fix spec dot 10 and then click on update so it will take some time and once it is done successfully again you can run the version info dot bat command and then it will show you the current version right so this is the way how we can apply the fix pack in web sphere using the command line and using the installation manager tool okay and now let me begin with the exercise our lab so first i will install this uh, 8.5.5 web sphere and then i will upgrade it with the help of command line